for your website, you want to include the main keyword in, uh, you know, uh, for your for your topic. So take for example, we had music, right? What keyword can we have uh, for for that music type of website? What keywords? So if I was to look up music in the Philippines, what keywords would I type into Google? OPM, OPM, yep, yep. In Philippines, whoops. Anything else? Any other keywords? If I was to look up music in the Philippines, what would I type in Google? Sorry. Pop, 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 pop music. Yes, pop music. We got pop music. Very good. Anything else? If I were to look up a music company in uh, Makati, what would, I, what would I type in? I would type in music <laughs> company Makati. All right. So the keyword here for your domain name, you can actually put in uh, musicmakati.com.ph as well. So, so that would be a really good domain name, musicmakati.com.ph. By the way, how do you pronounce this letter over here in the Philippines? H, we say H in Australia, by the way. H, 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 H. 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 And you got to bow your head as well. H. Okay, so um, not too long as well. When you're selecting your domain name, uh, try not to go too, too high in, in the characters. Make sure you hit about 80, uh, I mean, sorry, eight characters as well. Um, don't, go, don't go too much because it's not really good for the search engines, okay? And then you want to mix it up with some irrelevant keywords. So what I mean by this is, um, is you want to probably uh, so for your for that music one you probably have music in Makati okay dot com dot ph you know that would be a pretty good one because you've got a bit of uh, that's the keyword there that's another keyword there but then you also have something that doesn't relate to that keyword and this is what from my test it seems to work as well okay all right. And then um, don't panic. If you buy the domain name and you feel like you've stuffed it up, don't worry about that. Okay, you can still succeed as well. You can still evolve it. So some domain um, some domain name examples could be realestatephilippines.com.ph, ph, uh, cooking in Philippines, uh, fitness Makati. So if you're in a fitness type of business, uh, travel in the Philippines, um, foodpanoi.com.ph, something like that. Okay, so these are the different types of domain names that you can do. Uh, hosting, uh, I won't get into too much detail, but uh, make sure it's got this thing called C panel. Uh, that's called a control panel, okay? And it's got this thing called PHP, and uh, this is just the language that you use for it. And you can go to this website called hostgator.com. This is a website that uh, you can go to and check out for when you buy your uh, when you buy your hosting as well, okay? So the action steps uh, to buy your domain name, you can go to this place here, godaddy.com. You can buy the domain name, and then it will automatically it'll register you with the hosting provider. It's pretty easy, you know. It's pretty quick to set up. I think it's about five minutes to set up or something like that. Okay, very good. Okay, so the next step is I want you when you pick. Let's let's go with your passive income project. Okay, so uh, just for this one, I want you to pick up a passive income topic from your list. And I want you to come up with five domain name ideas for that particular type of passive income topic. Okay, so go to your workbook and go to the question number three and then write down the five ideas that you can have for your particular domain name. Okay, very good. Okay, so right now you should have about five different types of domain names. These are just some ideas that it will get, that it will get you guys started, okay? All right, so the next one, the next step. Installing the engine. So at this point, we need to install a specific, uh, a specific type of engine that will help um, accelerate this type of business, okay? All right, so what, what is this engine that we're gonna be using? Okay, so it's called WordPress, okay? Uh, this is what we're gonna be using throughout the entire life of the online business. What is WordPress? Um, basically, it's just a platform that you can use that will, uh, that will help you write these articles, that will help you put them all online. It's very, very easy to use. Okay, you don't have to worry about too much technical stuff. It's just point, click, and publish, and that's it. Okay, so use WordPress. You can go to wordpress.com, and it's completely free. You don't have to spend any more money on this one. It's free, uh, and it's very easy to use. You know, um, it only takes you a few minutes to log in, takes you a few minutes to put in your stuff, and that's it. It's very easy to use. Um, and you've got lots of support online as well. Lots of people are, are out there to help you guys. Uh, okay, so... Oh, that's technical. I'll cover that one. All right. 
So, um, okay, so a final word I would like to say about this is that don't worry about the look of the blog for now, okay? It might be very boring, it might be very plain. Don't worry about that. You need to just slowly, slowly build it up. And then you'll slowly see the results for it, okay? All right. It's Aussie time. So, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Oi, 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 oi. Very good. Okay. So, okay, so the first cash flow mastery activity is this. It's called content creation. Content creation. So, remember the 10% that I was talking about? This is the 10%, content creation. Okay, so the golden rule for a successful online business is this, traffic equals income. Traffic equals income. So without traffic, you cannot generate income. Um, it doesn't matter whether you've got the best looking website, it looks the best, and uh, you know, great design, great logo, but if you don't have any traffic going to the website, it's not gonna do anything. It's like if you set up a business in the middle of the desert, it's just not gonna work. So always remember that one. That's the golden rule, um, rule is traffic equals income, okay? And if you want to generate more income, you build lots of content. So content goes to traffic, and then traffic goes to income as well. Very simple, yeah? yeah. You can do it. Can you do it? Yes. yes. Very good. All right, so therefore, every day, you want to spend a bit of time just generating that traffic. You know, just do something. You know, spend five minutes writing some sort of article. Uh, spend 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be every day. You can spend three times a week. Okay, and that's still building up this business. While, you, while you're busy doing your other things, you can still build this one on the side as well. And eventually, it's gonna get really, really big. Okay, so the different ways to generate traffic is this. You can write your articles. You can create videos. You can use social media as well. So if you've got Facebook, Twitter, you can use that one as well. I won't go through all of these ones. Uh, joint ventures with other people as well. So if you uh, know people like in companies and everything like that, uh, they will also joint venture with you as well. Okay, paid advertising, offline medias, guest blogging, and other events as well. Okay, but you just want to focus on just writing these articles for now. So creating your content. All right. So how do you write your articles? You want to train yourself to write every day, if not three times a week. Okay. Can you stick to three times a week? Yes. It's very easy. Just three times a week. All right. Just write just three articles per week, and eventually, at the end of the year, you'll have a lot of articles as well. Okay. You want to train yourself. It's a skill that makes money as well. Remember that, you know, don't look at it as you're just writing an article. You're actually building a business using this one. And remember, you're not building like a, a pizza shop or it's like a traditional type of business. It's, all you're doing is just writing stuff on your computer at home, okay? And uh, if you can write an email, then you can write an article as well. So, so think about it as just writing an email. And you will get better as well, trust me. You will get better. Okay, so if you can't write, just train yourself. And uh, yeah, just remember it's easier than, than building a, a traditional online business, okay? Okay, Diba? Yeah. Yes. yes. All right, so, um, so the first step is phase one. You wanna aim for this thing called pillar content. Pillar what? Content. content. So what's pillar content? Okay, so what it is is you're going to be writing 10 high quality articles first, just 10, okay? Now this is gonna be like the best, uh, best of the best that you have about your particular topic. So if you're um, setting up that music store, you're gonna be writing uh, 10 high quality content or high quality articles on that particular music store. And the reason why we do this is because of this. When someone goes to your website and you've got your 10 great articles there, they start to read it. You know, and that's like the best of the best of your content, okay? So uh, that's, that's, that's the whole idea behind it, is that you wanna just create this high quality content. The next step is phase two, aim for 250 articles as well. You can do this, I know you can, all right? And then you wanna write consistently for a long period of time. So what are the different types of content that you can create? Very easy, um, you have interviews as well. So let's say that you can interview 10 people. You know, that's 10 articles that you've generated as well. All you do is just write up your, your questions, send it to 10 people and they'll reply with all of their content. So that, that's an article there. Opinions. You know, you can have an opinion on a particular topic. If you go somewhere, you know, that's an opinion, right? You can have a list, a list of all these things that you've learned about a particular topic as well. Um, you can cover something. So let's say that you get invited somewhere. You know, you can do a review on a particular event or a review on, on something. So there's content there, okay? So other keys to writing articles. You just wanna write, just write. Okay, so don't, don't go through analysis paralysis. You just wanna write. Uh, use a timer. So what I do is I have a timer. Um, I set the timer for 25 minutes, and then I just start writing. And then when the timer goes goes off, then then I just stop what I'm doing, and then I go back, and then I continue writing later on. 
Okay, so that's what you can do, use a timer. And don't stress about it as well. It's not like a novel, it's not war and peace or anything. Uh, it's just an article, okay? So don't worry about that one. Cool. Uh, you can also turn off the monitor as well, okay? Uh, this is a really cool, cool trick that I used um, when I was writing my book is uh, I, I tend to go back and re-edit my articles and my content. So what I normally do is I turn off the monitor and I just start writing. So that prevents me from going back and changing all the content. So that's a really good thing that you guys can do as well, okay? And forget about analysis paralysis. All right. So um, how long should your articles be? Okay, so maybe 500 to 700 words. You can go for 500 words, that's okay. If you're really good at it, it might become 1,500. That's okay, but go for 500 to 700 words. That's a good, that's a good range, okay? Um, if you get to 1,500 words, you can also split it up into two articles. So just have like an introduction and a conclusion, and that's fine. So that's two articles there. And then um, one, one big tip I'd like to give you guys is you want to write first thing in the morning. Okay, I find that when I write my content, uh, if it's the first thing in the morning, um, you get your blog post out there, and therefore like, you, know, you might go to meetings, and you're not going to have time, you're going to get tired. So uh, if, it's good to just do this first thing in the morning, and then that way you'll be able to get it done. Okay? And you want to write fast as well. Okay, so the big secret is have a quota. Have a what? Quota. quota. So your first goal is how many articles do we need to write? 250 articles, oh my god. All right, so finally, the, the final exercise for this module is I want you to write 10 high quality article topics. You don't have to write the articles now, but just 10 topics that you can write about. I mean, 10 articles that you can write about for that particular topic that you've chosen. This is gonna be your pillar content, okay? So, just 10 high quality article topics that you can write for your first website.